Dr. Kelly, what specific challenges do veterans from the Black and Latinx communities face when trying to access lung cancer healthcare services? So in VA, there are um, several different um, ethnic and racial populations. And we've looked at the outcomes of uh, black and white veterans. Um, Latinx uh, veteran population is still relatively small, so we don't have good statistical power to be able to draw strong conclusions there. But the comparison between black and white is very clear in VA in lung cancer um, in terms of the outcomes. And the result is, is that uh, black veterans do just as well or better than white veterans at every stage of lung cancer. That is quite different than it is in the rest of the country. Um, so that is one area that I think VA as a uh, integrated healthcare system and with wraparound services um, is able to um, brag about that we are able to provide uh, all the care that is necessary to, to derive that outcome. Um, that wasn't always the case. Uh, in the early 2000s, there was a difference in surgery rates for uh, Black veterans with early stage lung cancer. Um, and uh, we were studying this. And what we saw was that that difference went away uh, about 2009 or 2010. Um, and it hasn't come back uh, since we last looked at it. Um, we don't know what caused it, and we don't know why it went away, but we're glad to see it did go away. Um, there are a long list of other possible challenges that veterans in uh, Black or Latinx uh, communities might face. Um, these may be overlapping with those that everyone faces, um, but VA probably has a service to help with it. Um, and, and so my activation tip for you is, is that if you're experiencing a challenge and working with the VA healthcare system, um, regardless of what community you are in, please communicate that to someone at the VA. That could be your provider. That could be the patient advocate. Every VA hospital has a patient advocate. Uh, or that could be someone else at the medical center. We want to know how we can help you and what problems you're experiencing. Are there any differences in the characteristics of the cancer for these populations, for the Black and Latinx communities that you have seen? Uh, we have looked at a lot of comparisons between uh, Black and white uh, groups of veterans, not so much around uh, Latinx because of the smaller numbers. Um, there are not a lot of differences in terms of the molecular genetic alterations. Um, and so there are some differences in the geography. Um, so the uh, Black African-Americans uh, veterans tend to live more in the Southeast, um, where actually there's the largest collection of military veterans uh, who are enrolled in VA care anyways. Um, but in terms of the outcomes, we don't really see any outcomes. There are some other differences in uh, medical care that we that you know, are appropriate, um, such as uh, a, a variation of normal in terms of the white blood cell count uh, that it happens in some individuals, predominantly in of African descent, uh, and those individuals um, might be at risk for having uh, their chemotherapy doses reduced because their um, the white count goes down more than other individuals. But in general, we don't see a lot of differences between those populations medically.